What is up, internet, or, I don't know, extra net, or outer net, or under net? I don't know. What's up, nerds? There you go. That's a better intro. Uh, I am Taylor. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel, or whatever. Welcome. I know. I've said whatever like 14 times already in this intro. It's not going to go well. It's going to be one of those days. Uh, this is an unassuming priority mailbox. Uh, it's a it's a man from Beantown Instagrammer's mystery box. Uh, they were two hundred and thirty dollars shipped, I believe, and they were fifteen boxes. Uh, and I think you had a choice, or, or you had a shot at winning the first appearance of the Mandarin. I can't remember what issue that is. It's an old Tales from Suspense, or Tales to Astonish, or Strange Tales, one of those old Marvel books, uh, raw. But that was, you know, the kind of the grand prize of the box. And some of them, I think, were supposed to have a slab thrown in as well. Uh, and that's kind of all I know. I did try and look on the, the gentleman's. Instagram page to, to refresh my memory, uh, but he pulled the post down, which I don't kind of love. I kind of, it's a minor little thing, but I think you should leave your posts up until people at least get their boxes so they can be like, oh, I got that book out of the box, or I got that book, or I didn't get that book, or whatever. Just some, some sort of reference point because, you know, that's a fair amount of money. Uh, I don't think I got a slab. Actually, I'm pretty sure I didn't because there's this is not a slab box. Um, and yeah, I've seen a few other people open theirs, and they were okay. Uh, they weren't like they, they hit a right around value, which if you've watched me before, uh, you know, I get kind of can get kind of cranky about that. I do generally think that the comic book value of a box should be a little bit bigger than the, the retail value. But that's just my opinion, because otherwise, and I've said this before, I would rather just have the money than retail value in comics that I didn't get to pick out myself. But this is a raffle shot, basically, there, and it, and it is a chance at a grand prize. So that does change things a bit. I'm going into this optimistic, people. It's 2022. What could possibly go wrong? We're past COVID. The world's at peace. Okay, I'm recording this on uh, in, yeah, it's February. So if the world has ended since then, whoopsie. Uh, yeah. Uh, and anyways, we're going to get into this. So this is box number 11. I just picked it. I don't know why. I just just felt box number 11 was calling my name. No real reason for behind it. And uh, I do dig his logo. Look, it's shiny. And then we'll see what's in here. And yeah, like I said, I've seen a few other people open theirs this round, and uh, they didn't love them. Uh, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. I... Uh, I don't think they're awful. I don't think the boxes that other people got were horrible. They're just, I think the the expectations were pretty darn high, maybe unrealistically high, because uh, some people saw the last rounds uh, that this this guy did, and they were just fantastic fire. And so, if if uh, I think that's a hard thing to live up to. So if, the, if things aren't fantastically fire, you know, or it, it gets tricky. But I also know it's trickier to build mystery boxes now because the comic values are gone stupid. Like the speculation mark has has made it really hard to price comics, and the prices shift every day. And look, I managed to focus. That's a it says Krakoa, the, the weird mutant island that uh, that ex gentlemen live on. So, all right, and then we have pull tab, pull tab, pull tab, and start here. <laughs> look. Excuse me, I think spring's coming. That's a positive thing, right? I don't know, I'm getting allergies. That's my side <laughs> spring's on its way. Uh, so there is at least something to be hopeful for. Uh, I will say the pull tabs are not super pull tabby. They're just kind of there, which is fine. Um, like, there's no, like, little fold-over thing. But but the, the books are all held together. It looks like they're held in mylar. And, it, you know, I am just nitpicking, folks. And I'm trying to... This is the kinder, gentler tailor. So we will see how we, can, how we do. Um... Yeah, I know a couple other people tend to buy these boxes. I think DJ Links bought one. I know uh, Alex Winking Michael has bought them in the past. I don't know if he bought them on this round. And uh, I just don't know anything. I don't, I don't know much. But uh, yeah, like I said, the first place prize was going to be, or supposed to be the first appearance of the Mandarin. So that book I might recognize. The rest of these, I don't know if I will, especially if there's a lot of variants in here. I think one Silver Age book is promised. And I tend to do a little bit better recognizing some of those than I do some of the new stuff. But... No promises. So if I don't know stuff, leave me a note down in the comments saying, you're a moron, Taylor. This is what that book is. You should know it. Um, what I do like, and what I've seen other people uh, talk about before, is he does put the price tag right on here. Uh, and so 
and I don't think he caused considered the shipping as part of the value of the box because some people hit like 227 when they paid 230, but uh, you know it's which is a little interesting. But again, you get the shipping cost, and I get it. Books are expensive, so all right, we get the Walking Dead shiny foil. Uh, this is deluxe edition number 27. I'll be honest, Walking Dead is not my jam. Uh, I, I I thought the show was okay. I've never read an issue of the comic. Um, this is a cool foil cover, though. <laughs> it's kind of 90s-ish. So, uh, $5 book. So, that's not a bad way to start. Uh, if we're going to do the adding up, I'm not going to do the adding up. You can add it up in the comments down below if you want to do all the math stuff. I went to art school, people. I didn't go to math school. I'm drinking coffee while I'm doing this, too. All right, second book. There we go. Now we're talking more of my speed. We got Warlock, number 10, $15 price tag, Thanos versus Magus. Magus. And these are all really well wrapped. They're in some shiny mylar, which helps too. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a great book. I mean, it's, there's spine ticks on it and stuff. It's not a, not in a super great condition, but again, it's a Bronze Age book. And like, I'm not expecting miracles on the Bronze Age stuff. And I do love the colors on the that they used back then. I don't know why. I think the colors pop more in the Silver and Bronze Age than they do now. All right, there we go. Another one. Spider-Man. Uh, again, not my super jam, but it's a $5 book. Uh, this is... Is this McFarlane? No, this is Eric Larson. Yeah, this is after McFarlane left. So this is Eric Larson. This might be the first Eric Larson issue. Or right around here. So I kind of stopped reading Spider-Man around there because McFarlane, while he's a heck of an artist, couldn't write for shit. <laughs> Spider-Man, it was just kind of god-awful garbage, in my oh-so-humble opinion. And oh, here we go. First appearance of Jubilee. This is an underrated book, uh, honestly, and probably undervalued. And he's got a $40 price tag on it, which is not bad. It's probably pretty close. I think it probably should be worth more. But this one's probably staying in my PC at the very least, so there's that. That's like always good. It's another thing I like out of mystery boxes. It, it's a good, and it's a mystery. I get it. But if a book, if I'm like, ah, I'll keep that, that, that's a good sign. So, so far, not so bad. All right, uh, we got the Immortal Hulk. I don't know what issue this is, $5 book, uh, issue 39, so it's kind of in the middle of the run. Alex Ross cover, cool cover. I didn't read all of this. Or I know there was a kind of moments where people said it lulled in the middle, and I got a feeling it's probably right around this issue, but I could be mistaken. I'll, I'll read it at some point. Uh, you know, once I, I'll probably read it digitally. I, I've stopped trying to collect every single back issue ever made because like, you go broke doing that. So I'm trying to save the planet and collect NFTs. But no, I'm not collecting. Never mind. I'm, that's a tangent I'm not getting on. Nice. All right. Secret Wars. Uh, this is number 10 of 12, I think, right? It was 12 issues. Newsy. $10 book. I do dig this cover. Like, I, And this is... Doom's a badass. Like, they really need to make a movie. And not mess up Doom. <laughs> I know they messed him up before uh, badly. And uh, just make a good movie with Doom. That's all I want. Because like uh, a good movie needs a good villain. And Doom's one of the best villains ever made. So <sighs> refreshing, like my soul. All right, Spider Man twenty ninety nine. Again, uh, I don't know a ton about this uh, character. This is a rare Tyler John Tyler Christopher variant. He's got a seventy five dollar price tag on here. That might be right. Um, I, I know somebody that could tell me. So Rob's Fat Stacks, Fat Slacks, and Fat Snacks. If you see this, let me know if this is about accurate on this one. Because I know this is your jam. And if, also, if you want this, we can talk. Because I don't really collect the Spider-Man 2099. Although I do think these are going to go way up in value uh, once that Edge of Spider-Verse 2 comes out. Because, or Spider Into the Spider-Verse? Whatever the hell. The Spider-Verse movie. Miles Morales. Miguel O'Hara. That movie. So $70 price tag. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, here we go. Silver Age Superboy. <laughs> um, $30. First mooting of Superboy and Supergirl. So this is Superboy number 80. He's got a $30 tag on here, which is probably close to right. Uh, it does have a chip off the corner, uh, but the spine's in pretty decent shape. And, uh, I mean, it's got some foxing and some yellowing and some and stuff. It's a big great copy. But, again, this is a 60-year-old book, so, <laughs> you know, I'm not complaining. And I do love these older Silver Age stuff. It's kind of been more my jam lately. And we've got two books left. So we'll see if we get here. <laughs> Here's hoping. All right, Predator number one. That's a $30 price tag on here. Maybe. I remember back when this was a $10 book. Uh, and uh, this is, I don't think this is the first appearance. This might be the first appearance of Predator. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I think that first appearance of Predator was actually in Dark Horse Presents. I think. Could be wrong. Cool cover. Uh, it might be a $30 book now. Again, I have not looked at this one in a while. Sort of not my jam either, but... 
you know, not bad. And then last, and uh, I don't know, well, at least, actually. This one, I can't even tell if this is Batman Fear State 117. This is a $3 book. So, uh, to recap, we got three, <laughs> um, 30, 60, uh, 135, 140. I am adding, it turns out. <laughs> 150. 155. 195. We're going to be it's gonna be close, people. It's going to be close. Two. 215 and 220. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not an awful box. Uh, would I do it again? Probably not. I mean, it, it's just didn't the value just didn't get there for me. And like, you know, I get, I get it. I get it's a raffle shot, but that's also like, I felt like I just lost money on a raffle shot because I'm going to have to turn around and flip most of these. Uh, they're just not my jam. And I don't know if I can get up to the, the, what I spent on it to turn around and to redo it. So it's a, it's like losing a raffle. So it is what it is. It's not bad. Uh, if anybody has any interest in these, get a hold of me. I'm not sure when this video is dropping. They might be gone by then because like, I'm going to probably turn around and sell the majority of these. Like the only one I might really even hold on to is the Superboy. That's a maybe. So, uh, well, no, the Jubilee. The Jubilee I'll probably hold on to. So, I don't know. We'll see. It's not horrible. Uh, wish it would have won, obviously. I know some of them had a slab and stuff, and then some of them had value. I just think uh, one of the ones I've seen have all been a little bit undervalued, and that's a little bit weird to me. But eh, I don't know. It is, it is what it is. I'm not trying to be super negative. I, I get it. Mystery boxes are hard, and, like, you got to try and make a, maybe a little bit of money at least, or at least recoup some of your money. So it's kind of where we're at on this one. It's it's fine. <laughs> Honestly, that's it's fine. If you want to help me support this channel and, uh, you know, see more fine content such as this, you can go buy its fine hats and other stuff at my website at taylorwinter.com. Otherwise, hit the like button, hit the notification bell if you want. Uh, please subscribe to the channel because we're trying to get to 1,000 followers. When I get to 1,000, I'll be doing a giveaway. It'll be a sweet giveaway. I don't know what it'll be, but it'll be a giveaway. So free shit. Who doesn't love free shit? All right. Uh, that's all I got. Don't be a dick, even if World War Three is starting. And uh, you don't quite get your money's worth out of a box. See ya.